and into what's going on in the first hours of the morning rather than late afternoon, evening. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. Just amazing. Now you're here to teach Bikram yoga, which is a style of hot yoga, yeah. and it's not. It's a hot summer's day. It's sultry, but it's not hot like a hot room. Why would anyone want to do hot yoga? Tell me that. Oh, I don't know. I thought the same thing myself when I first went. Um, I didn't really know much about it myself, but uh, if for me telling everybody well, hot, what hot yoga is, is that um, basically it's done in a 40 degree heat um, and 40 degrees humidity. Um, living in Queensland, 40 degree heat is pretty uh, challenging heat to, to keep at 40 degrees. <laughs> and um, well, basically what it does is it helps you, as you stretch, you're actually sweating and releasing waste from your body. So the more you sweat, your skin is the largest absorber of waste and also the largest eliminator of waste. So we're constantly releasing waste from our body. It helps you to stretch more efficiently without hurting yourself. There's absolutely no way you can hurt yourself unless your ears aren't wide open and you're not being present. Because every posture has been scientifically tested and proven to actually heal the body from the inside out. So you're compressing, stretching, rinsing, cleansing. And yes, it feels extremely uncomfortable when you first start. So um, I know my very first class, I was a, a major sports you know, triathlete, running, marathons was my life. Fast, fast, fast. And suddenly I had a um, really bad injury with my hip and um, they was recommending a hip replacement at 29, which was only a few years ago, I'm joking. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I heard about this lady that had come back, this is when I was living in England, and um, she'd just come back from America and done this, what they call hot yoga. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. I couldn't walk properly, I was a hairdresser at the time, and had a salon, so I thought, well, I'll try anything, but I don't want to go under the knife. So I went to a class, I walked in, I felt extremely uncomfortable straight away. There was mirrors right in front of me. Um, I had to look at myself, which you know I didn't think was gonna be a problem at all, but suddenly when you're right in front of a mirror, it's all quiet and you really have to stand and look at yourself. It's very confronting because you pick yourself to pieces. Human beings tend to do that. And um, we're always looking for perfection and we don't realize that we're already perfect. But so there I was and the heat, I started to itch, everything was itching, everything felt uncomfortable and then we started doing the poses and I just felt like I couldn't do anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> so really, you know, you take yourself right back to that very first class and that's how I like to teach is that, you know, it doesn't really matter how flexible you are, it's nothing to do with flexibility. Yoga is to do with trying to gain flexibility. Flexibility is health. The more you can gain that flexibility, the more you're going to elongate your life because you are releasing tightness, tension in your body. So all my years of running and competing, my body was so solid, so tight, and actually, you know, I'll admit it, I was extremely very angry, a very angry person. And as I started to stretch and feel more uncomfortable, the more um, you realize how much tension you have in your body and the more you start to heal it, start to feel better, you're more awake, you don't need to sleep so much. Yes, you might feel sick and dizzy when you first start. Very normal, you actually feel quite awful. But then, <laughs> but then, you know, as time goes on, it's something, you know, it's like everything. You're going to change your diet, you're going to change, you're suddenly not going to have coffee anymore. Yeah, you're going to get a headache, you know. Most people are walking around dehydrated, we don't drink enough water. So, um, and I, over the years of practicing, I become so passionate about it. I f saw the difference in myself. Um, I felt much calmer that I wanted to do the teacher's training, which I did in America with the guy called Bikram. And um, yeah, and then basically um, I did the training, came back, traveled all over the world teaching in various countries. And then I just emigrated to Australia and there was a slot at Noosa and I found the paradise I wanted to live in and um, created this studio which has become a wonderful community now for Noosa. I've seen people really grow from all kinds of illnesses, from arthritis, depression, um, just generally being overweight and not happy with themselves, to just glowing, like it's amazing. And same for myself as a teacher, I've come from an awful lot of, you know, injuries and I still have had injuries and I just 
you know, you just keep healing yourself through stretching, increasing the blood flow. Um, in the Bikram um, classroom, it goes for 90 minutes and there's 26 postures that you do twice each? Yeah, we do two sets of each. Um, the first set is basically to feel the body and the second set you go for a little bit more depth. But it really is not about that. As long as you're trying, you can come in with, you know, um, there's people that do Bikram's yoga in a wheelchair. You know, if you can move something, if you, you, you're doing something. It, there's, the, the heat is just so powerful because when you exercise in heat, you're a lot more, a lot more open. You're going to be more open. You know, like exercising in the cold. You know, being in a gym with air conditioning, you're actually just a lot um, stiffer. So you're really defeating the, the object of the, of, of the whole thing. So the heat actually helps you get deeper into a stretch. There's no such thing as overstretching. There is a thing as not listening. So you really have to.